assalamu alaikum today we are starting i ospi as we have done with our ent ospi so uh, we will cover mainly ophthalmic instruments today i considered that these ophthalmic instruments are very much confusing and all these instruments look more or less the same so it is very confusing for all of the students to identify that particular instrument but i will try my best to make it easy for you people and we will also uh, consider here some mnemonics to memorize these instruments well okay so let's start here you can see that in front of you the first instrument here is the eye speculum how you can say that this is the eye speculum just remember just remember it that it has two limbs it has two limbs uh, one thing i want to mention here is that all these instruments will look very much large to you in pictures but when it will come to you uh, in in your iosp they will be very small small instruments that you will be amazed that they are very very small sized instruments so you must have to know their differences very much clearly that you can easily identify in between them okay so you can see here that this is the eye speculum it has two limbs and this is the screw which is used to adjust these limbs on one on one limb there is the screw and from here we can adjust these two limbs either we can make them apart from each other or we can bring them closer to each other as well and what are its uses its uses is again mainly that we use it to keep the lids apart in any type of surgery like we want to do the surgery of the pterygium pterygium is fibrovascular uh, meshwork fibrovascular meshwork that is projecting from the um, conjunctiva towards the cornea it is triangular in structure like any type of surgery any type of uh, eye surgery that you are going to do and you want that you have to keep the two lids apart from each other that after that it is possible now it is possible after we keep these two lids apart from each other after that we can easily approach this eye wall and we can perform any any type of surgery so in any type of surgery uh, either it is of the regium either you want to remove the foreign body from the conjunctiva or the cornea but your main purpose is to keep your two lids apart so you use this instrument here you can see that this is the wire speculum this is very delicate delicate instrument you can see here that this is very delicate instrument without any screw it is just like that it has as it has no screw so it is just like a wire only this metal wire is present which is arranged uh, or coiled to form this wire speculum and again its purpose is same okay so then comes the forceps forceps on number one forceps is the plain forceps plain forceps as it is very much plain you can see here that these are the two limbs okay this is the handle from where you can hold it and there are on the uh, on the outer portion of the on the central portion of the outer portion of the limb there are somewhat striations present and these are for better grip so you can hold it uh, with a better grip and here you can see that on its tip if you see its zoomed out picture then you can see it clearly that here no teeth are present but somewhat striations are present so its purpose what is its purpose as it is plain forceps i will tell you mnemonics as i have said before so as this is the plain forceps so just remember the mnemonic that it's as it is plain 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 means somewhat like hd okay just a mnemonic just a mnemonic remember it by hd h means holding its purpose is to hold and its purpose is to perform dcr operation d for dcr hold what hold c s s c means conjunctiva s means clara and the other s here means skin okay while you can hold your conjunctiva i mean patient's conjunctiva in various procedures for holding these clara flaps during trabeculectomy which we perform in the case of the glaucoma trabeculectomy means removal of the trabecular meshwork from the iridocorneal angle and then comes the skin like you want to hold the skin during any type of eyelid surgery and d for dcr operation here 
okay then comes the fixation forceps just look at it carefully that this is the fixation forceps and this is mainly globe fixation forceps as fixation starts from these three alphabets f i and x so just remember it that it's tip all of these forceps has some differences at their tips so in the case of fixation forceps as these are three alphabets so you can easily remember it from that it's each tip has three or more teeth present here like this like present here again okay next is the and its purpose what is its purpose as its name indicates that it is fixation forceps it is used for fixing something i said that this is globe fixation forceps so it is mainly used for two purposes two purposes you can remember it from hf one is holding holding what as it is globe fixation forceps so it is used for fixation of the f for fixation fixation of the eyeball during operations of the eyeball and h for holding so it is used for holding the eyeball in forced duction test forced duction test is used to uh, check the movements of the eyeball okay then comes the superior rectus holding forceps you can see from here that as this forceps as this forceps name contains superior rectus holding forceps as it is used superior rectus is only a single muscle so just remember that its its tip can either be curved like here shown or it can either be straight but at its tip on each of its tip there is single tooth present you can see see here clearly you can see here clearly that there is a single teeth present here so it is a tooth force single teeth is present on each tip and you can remember it as superior rectus me as is a single muscle it is used for holding a single muscle so it has only one teeth present here as its name indicates that it is used for holding the superior rectus muscle when you want to pass the suture under this muscle then comes the corneal forceps as cornea contains o so remember its mnemonic from o s os os also means opening but here o for opening so openings are present in its limb uh, the forceps we have covered before none of them had uh, any type of openings in their limbs but here you can see that in its limbs openings are present and s means that a single teeth single fine teeth can be seen here in its zoomed out picture okay it can be seen on its tip and it as it is corneal forceps it is also known as corneoscleral forceps so it is used for holding the cornea all the forceps purpose is mainly you to hold something okay as it is corneal forceps like scissors scissors are used for cutting something but forceps are used for holding something it is used to hold the corneal or scleral edges like you are performing any type of surgery cataract surgery glaucoma surgery or any type of keratoplasty operation but you want to hold the corneal or scleral edges then comes the suture tying forceps here you can see clearly the suture tying forcep also has as suture also contain u u also resemble somewhat like o it also has openings in it but it has very fine plane tip okay it doesn't have the sharp teeth present like in the case of the corneal forceps as it is suture tying forceps so it is used to hold the suture it is a forceps its purpose is to hold something as it is suture tying forceps so it is used to hold the suture during the procedure of suturing as you do suturing in the process of either cataract glaucoma or in the case of any other operation so you your purpose is to hold the suture while tying the suture then comes this arugas intracapsular or capsule holding forceps as its name contains c c means capsule and c also means cup so you can see here that this forceps has at its end at its tip there is just like a cup a cup is present at its tip just like this okay just like this here the cup is not shown clearly but it's it has just like this cup okay as it is capsule holding forceps so its purpose is mainly to hold the lens capsule like you are performing either intracapsular cataract extraction surgery or extracapsular cataract extraction surgery and you want to mainly it is used in intracapsular cataract extraction it means the surgery where the capsule is preserved and you remove the lens and when you are want to deliver a new lens into that capsule you have to hold that capsule and then you have to deliver that new lens in that capsule and its purpose is mainly there 
appellation forceps here you can see that it has blunt and flat ends it has blunt and flat ends and its name indicates that it is used for the appellation purpose like for the removal of the hair like in the case of trichiasis there is an abnormal row of eyelashes grown uh, so you want to remove those eyelashes so you use appellation forceps in that case okay then comes this artery forceps as it indicates that it's it is not a caesar remember that it is not a caesar as it has a locking mechanism here okay two extensions here near its rings okay so this is not a caesar it looks like a caesar as but as it has this locking mechanism here so it is artery forceps and mainly hemostatic forceps it's also known as hemostatic forceps it looks more or less looks like a caesar but here is no screw present okay you cannot see a screw here and here fine grooves can also be seen at its tip okay and a locking mechanism near the rings as it's name indicate that it is artery forceps so it is used to catch any bleeding point like you are performing any type of operation of either lids of either like cranial sac it is used to catch the bleeding vessels mainly and it is also used to hold skin and muscle sutures thank you very much we will cover next instruments in the next part inshallah